Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how usable Windows Vista is in 2020. So what you see here is a fresh install of Windows Vista Ultimate 64-bit edition. Uh, I did that for a reason, which will be revealed in another video. So, uh, what Windows Vista is, is the operating system for after XP, for, for those who don't know. Um, you can dual boot this with 8, 10, and even 11. Now, this operating system to give you a little bit of background if you don't know is it was so secure that everybody had said it was bad but it was, it was just a little too secure and that was the problem with it so this is a fresh install and right now I am going to do Windows updates and there's a bit of an issue you'll see here in a couple of minutes. See, it won't contact the update server. Uh, this operating system hasn't been supported in a long time, actually. So, I'm just saying how usable, as I stated earlier, it is into, in 2022. So, this is Service Pack 2. It has all the stuff on it. And I'm going to set it up like I would any other test machine here. You know, I'm going to download Opera and all that. So I'm going to Internet Explorer. And actually, the Internet Explorer actually held up very, very well. It did what I needed to do to download Opera. Now, you can still do some functions with this. Actually, all functions with this. Uh, I don't recommend... I, using it if you use your computer all the time like I do. Uh, but it's still pretty usable in 2022. Um, this is a problem, as you see here, where it's saying it's unsecure, it's unsecure, and it's unsecure. That is because... Microsoft Edge is Microsoft's leading web browser right now. So what's happening is, this is an old version of Internet Explorer, and what's happening is, the certificates are different. So that's why I'm having a problem with that. But that's normal with Vista when you do this. So I'm going to download what I normally download there and the operating system is actually pretty usable uh, it installed all the drivers that it needed by default so I don't have to worry about drivers right and opera works to a degree and you'll see in a minute what I mean So the average year of normal, and it keeps saying that it's unsecure when really it is because I haven't had a problem on my other OSs. So that would be annoying. So as of right now, this operating system is very, very usable. And as you can see, it installs. 
I actually have never gotten that on any other operating system except Vista. That was p pretty interesting when that came up because that has never shown up it, during my experience using Vista. So as you can see, it's usable, it's working, and there's not going to be too many issues here, but I do run into an issue here. That shows up every time I try to look up a web page. That would be annoying, but if you could live beyond that, this is good to go on the internet. So I'm trying to find if there's an install of the paint program in Windows 10. And I go to Softpedia, which is my download source, basically. And there we go. So everything's fine. That was the graphics drivers adjusting themselves. Driver, I should say. All right. So I go to Softpedia and watch what happens when I go. that keeps coming up. You notice something a little odd. That is the presentation layer of the the network stack. Opera does it the presentation layer for Opera in Windows Vista does not display it properly. So what I had to do as you will see in a little bit here I had to download a different web browser. So what you're seeing is me looking for download links and stuff like that. So the the problem is is Opera is made for higher operating systems such as basically 8, 10 and 11 right now. So I also as you can see what I'm typing here, I also try to see if there's a Microsoft Edge install that will be compatible with Vista. Why would I look that up? The reason I would look that up is basically you can kind of make it compatible with modern day stuff, even if it's a standalone install, but that didn't work out so well. That You could install it on 10, I'll tell you that, but that's a I did that in a previous video, I believe. So I'm seeing if the firewall settings do stuff and all that. And I kept getting the same result as you will see. You know, I turn everything off. This is a test machine, so if something would happen to it, it wouldn't really matter because I would wipe it out anyway and put a different operating system on it. But if this was your daily use machine, I would keep all the safety features on just for safekeeping and all that. So I spend more time looking for Microsoft Edge to see if there is an install. And again, that comes up. It says invalid certificate. Uh, what that means is basically, for some reason, Vista thinks the certificate is invalid. Now, if this was Windows 7, 
I wouldn't have had that issue. But, you know, the operating system is still very, very usable. So now I'm downloading Firefox, and you'll, you will see a difference. That came up again. So I'm downloading Firefox. When I launch Firefox, look how different it's going to be. So, I try to look for Microsoft Edge again because of the presentation layer in Opera. Watch how different it presents, the presentation layer presents, when I go to it. Right? Looks very, very normal the way it should and all that, which means there's a compatibility issue with Opera in Windows Vista. So if you're going to use Vista, I recommend Firefox. So I did find an Edge downloader, but as you will see when I try to install it, it does not work very well. It does not work very well. So I try to win this update again, I get the same message. Try to download it again, I get the same message. So Microsoft Edge will not install on Vista. But it will, it, it, if this was 8 or 10, it will install, but it's Unfortunately, this is Vista, and that doesn't. Edge didn't come out until Windows 10. And I'm going to play a channel that 
is this one from YouTube, which you are currently watching this video on. Here's why I want to do that. I want to see if it'll play videos just fine. And it does. Plays with sound and everything. Okay, so I like these. These were an actual usable tool back when Vista first came out. They're called gadgets. And you have a clock, you have a CPU monitor, there's a jigsaw puzzle, there's sticky notes, there's all sorts of stuff. Now, if you updated Vista to 7, you would keep these. If you did a clean install, install of 7, you would have to go to a third-party program that puts these on Windows 7. Uh, there is a Windows 10 install of these gadgets. I'm trying to see if there is a Windows 11 version of that. So what I'm playing with here is a jigsaw. I shouldn't say a jigsaw puzzle. I should say a uh, puzzle-like. Change the face on the clock, the CPU monitor. Microsoft should have kept this. Default-wise. And there's tons more you could get. I should say at the time could have gotten. But these are all the default ones. So anyway, with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.